as Black Friday is wrapped up and over with, we are now rolled into Cyber Monday. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some of the recaps of Cyber Monday, some of the current LEGO deals for Cyber Monday, and some of the disappointments for Cyber Monday, because it was not all it was meant out to be. And I thought we saw that at the midnight release on the live stream, but I feel I still felt it was decent enough to cover in today's video because of all the sales that are still going on. And I know they aren't as probably good as the Black Friday sales, but at least we still have some options if we missed out on some sets and we're still planning to buy. So if all that sound interests you, stick around, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and let's jump straight into it. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Christo. I'm from Stud City. I love to swipe the card irresponsibly. We do collect Lego plushies as a part of this channel based on our midnight live stream. So I know that's crazy stuff, right? Let's jump straight on into today's video. Cyber Monday is obviously the topic of today. It's essentially a day of the year where, uh, retailers discount items not just lego just tons of items for online shopping but i feel like this year as we roll into some of the disappointments um this year black friday was uh, theoretically not an in-store shopping experience the majority of sh uh, shopping was done online so it's hard to say black friday was an in-store shopping only it was essentially a cyber black friday and when you roll that into a cyber monday where deals move online it kind of is like, well, we have already seen the deals, we've already executed the deals, and now what do we do? And it's based over Leftovers Monday. So that's what we're going to call it this year. Maybe not Cyber Monday, but Leftover Monday. However, there's still a bunch of stuff on the LEGO website. we got some Walmart sales, got some Amazon sales, and I think we should probably discuss a little bit. So currently the LEGO group has a few different sets that are marked down that I probably wouldn't expect. Like one is the Holiday Diorama, uh, which is a very short shelf life. It literally sells in the description. Says in the description from October to December, this set is going to be available and is going to retire after that. So I think that's bizarre, and to see it on sale is pretty decent. I'm not sure why uh, it hasn't sold out just yet, but maybe they have enough inventory to last. Anyways, I thought that was a really good set at 20% off. And they do have 20% off a lot of the holiday sets, which I think is very nice for this time of the year. It's very a little bit abnormal to see inventory of some holiday sets during the Christmas season, just because I feel like everybody is shopping for sets like the Nutcracker, the Wintertime Polar Bears, or the Christmas wreaths, um, and buying them for the Christmas times. And as well, to incorporate encompass that is also like the Advent calendars. And we're still seeing inventory of all of the Advent calendars, and I just think it's a little bit odd. Uh, we also have 30% off the Ultimate Collector Series Razor Crest, as well as the Hogwarts Express. However, if you wait around into later in the video, I think Amazon has both of these sets for cheaper. But those are some of the current LEGO sales. Another really, really good addition they added was the Santa Sleigh for 20% off. You can get this bad boy for $32. It's already back order so that is no shocker to me uh they also have the christmas tree discounted 20 percent and then a wolverine claw and as well as die the small diagon alley weasley wizard wheezes for 20 percent off so pretty decent uh in the aspect of just having uh, additional sales going on uh they still have their redeemable voucher codes for a handful of sets it's only on a few sets so it's nothing too crazy but uh they have assembly square in there they have the captain america the Naso apollo 11 lunar lander and the little mermaid and then they still have 3x vip points or insider points on all of these selected sets which we saw all the way back in insiders weekend and it looks like the 4x is still available as well but these sets are on back ordered uh now as far as redeemable rewards a few things have added we were really w wishing for the blanket unfortunately we didn't see the blanket pop up um but as of right now, we can still see the Grey Castle. I redeemed mine, uh, but apparently this is back in stock for everybody else, which is nice to see. Um, I'm not sure if the table player is there as well, but I think that one has gone. Uh, and it looks like the sold out coupons are like the Eiffel Tower and then the UCS uh, Luke Skywalker Land Speeder. Uh, and as well as the Ford Mustang. So unfortunately, those have gone. Um, there's a handful of other redeemable rewards in this section. So please, by all means, feel free. If you're looking to claim anything, uh, go for it, right? There's, there's a bunch of uh, sets still available there. So if you are ordering through uh, Lego, make sure to use Rakuten. They up their numbers to 15% uh, cash back, which is nice. So if you're ordering this U UCS Razor Crest or whatnot, you can use Rakuten. Um, they have 15% cash back, which is nice. And then they also have Walmart at 12%. And then you also get $40 for signing up using the link in the description. So take advantage of that. 
get your orders in if you're still waiting out. And uh, let's jump over to Walmart because Walmart is probably one of the best deals kind of going on. And they have a handful of sales. I paid for the Walmart Plus membership thing for $12.95 for this month only just to take advantage of a few Lego deals. And the reason I did was I didn't want to miss out on the Justifier, which is a, was a Cyber Monday deal. And that one currently uh, it keeps going in and out of stock. But if I open this one up, let's take a look. Uh, it says shipping out of stock and delivery unavailable. So the only thing I can get lucky is if it's in store near me. Uh, and I'm not that lucky. So I, I'm pretty happy I bought that. Uh, I ended up ordering two of these. So $12.95 for buying the Walmart Plus membership and then um, also buying two of these. So $207 or $214 for two of these add $12. Um, but also I used Rakuten and they gave me the 12% cash back, which was extremely nice. Um, so you're essentially getting $12 back on both of these, saving $24. So it was just worthwhile for me to order it on walmart.com. But anyways, Walmart has a few other sets on sale. Um, they have the and uh inquisitor transport side i feel like that one's worth talking about just because i mean it's not the greatest sale in the world however if we open it up uh it's a really good set i'm i'm i want more copies of these i just i don't know i, I wish they would go on sale a little bit cheaper but i think that's unrealistic considering it's retiring here at the end of the year and it's already out of stock slash sold out at lego.com as well as a few other retailers but anyways that one's 15 percent off so you can get it for 85 dollars um, and you'll also be included in Rakuten's 12% cash back, which is nice. So you essentially get, you know, I don't know, maybe $9 back or so, somewhere in that margin. So not a bad deal on that one, uh, especially if you're getting cash back. So maybe I'll pick up a copy as well on that one. They also have some of the Technic cars on sale, like $25 off this Porsche uh, Formula E, $25 off the uh, McLaren Senna. I mean, that's 50% off those two Lego sets right there. And then, of course, they have their rollback deals where they have a bunch of Lego sets on rollback, uh, which, again, is just basically 20%. Now, they were very advertising some of these insane deals, basically 50% off a lot of Lego sets for Cyber Monday. But it looks like they went out of stock and are no longer available. The, the Jesco was pretty one of the really good ones, I think, um, being at $10, 50% off. Uh, and then it looks like even on Encanto sold out, the TIE Fighter sold out, the Justifier sold out. And I think those were kind of the three big ones. And obviously Winnie the Pooh sold out within like 60 seconds. That was absolutely insane. So let me know in chat if you got the Winnie the Pooh. I know that one was a very hot topic and uh, I missed out on it. So um, I, I feel for you guys. I missed out on that one as well. It was 50 bucks, basically off 100, which is absurd price point. Um, now, jumping over to Amazon just really quickly, they have a few Lego sets as well, still kind of going on on Cyber Monday. Uh, they have like $350 for the Ultimate Collector Series Hogwarts Express. And then they also have, you know, the the, the Little Mermaid sets. They have, oh, I thought they had more. Hmm. Oh, they have this little uh, minifigure book with the orange spaceman. You get an exclusive spaceman minifig. He's in orange, though. That one was really cool. They have one of probably the better best deals that's currently on Amazon is the Lego Star Wars Razor Crest. It is, I know if you immediately click on it, it's $154. But if you just switch it to standard packaging, it's 30% off at $98, which is, uh, I think, a really good deal, considering this is retiring here at the end of the year and is sold out on Lego. So it, take advantage if you if you miss out on this one. It's going extremely fast. Uh, and imagine it's, it sells out here within, you know, the next few hours from, uh, yeah, maybe by the time it's recorded, it's sold out. But hopefully it's not, and hopefully you can still get it. So anyways, that is it for kind of the deals. We are going to be calling out deals left, right, and center all week because I'm sure there's going to be a lot more that uh, Lego and Amazon and Walmart and Target are going to be popping up. Target is one I didn't cover in today's video, but gosh, Target's been the, uh, the dark horse and just leading Lego deals for all of Cyber Monday in my eyes, uh, as well as Black Friday. They've been superior by far. But anyways, let me know what your best Lego deal was in the comments below. And if you're picking up on Cyber Monday or is Cyber Monday just a flop? And for those of you who stayed with us in the live stream and love Pokemon, I don't have a sponsor for today's video. So I do like to showcase a Pokemon card from our collection. And in today's video is a card we showed off last night, but it is Infernape Level X in a tribute to Tyler's favorite Pokemon. So if you want to see more Pokemon cards, hit that subscribe button. We like to showcase a card in every single video from my personal collection at the end of it. But anyways, that's going to wrap it up. Happy Cyber Monday. Love you guys. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.